This is the book of Luke, chapter 21, and verse 11. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places. Think about Turkey and Syria. All right. It says, and famines and pestilences and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven. Shalom, Kohaloyan, Wahawa, La, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors, as always, are doing to the venerable apostles, along with the bishops and saquans who rule well. Salutations, peace and blessings going out to the Ba'af the Wadah that is the house of David the elect. I'm Shamar Moth, here to do a quick video, privacy in short, going into pestilences, all right? A big, huge end time sign, all right? Prior to the Lord Yahweh Shai's return with power and great glory, all right, in the ships, chariots of Israel, there's going to be what? Earthquakes in diverse places, all right? Famines and pestilences, okay? Um, now, this is off of uh, CNN put up today, which today is Tuesday, February 7, 2023, hopeful year that all these prophecies come to pass, as dubbed through the Spirit by the Elder Apostle Tahar, okay, the hopeful year that all these prophecies come to pass, and that's what the men of the Lord are hoping, we're hoping that all these prophecies, which are speaking loud and clear right now, come to pass this year, okay, but you know, if, if it's the Lord's will, you know, then next year, okay? Whatever, because at the end of the day, it's all pre, it's all been predetermined by Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. All right, so he's going to bring about the end when he's ready. But we understand the prophecies, all right, they got to be fulfilled. You know, the famine of hearing his word, okay? Amos, the eighth chapter goes into that, all right? The implementation of the MOTB. All right, karagma, all right, which is the C hip. That's got to take place. That's got to go global, all right. And then World War Three has to go global, all right, and it will. And that war, the scriptures talks about, is coming quickly. Okay, Revelation chapter eleven and verse fourteen goes into that. Okay, so and before the Lord returns, there's going to be all these things going down in the earth. Okay, signs. All right, for his elect, beginning with his men, you know, signs for you Israelites, man, okay? You so-called, so-called, all right, blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, okay? And you Israelite foreigners, speckled birds. These signs are for you as the Lord's chosen people, all right? But only the elect of you are going to be able to discern the signs of the times, okay? And again, it starts with his servants, the prophets, the men of the Lord, beginning with with the top men in Yasharala, which is the elder apostles of the great millstone. Okay. Again, this is off CNN. <clears throat> Published today, February 7, 2023. The fungal threat to human health is growing in a warmer, wetter, sicker world. Okay. I'm not going to play the video. Well, let's get into this. Let's grab some precepts. All right, Lord willing, you'll be edified. We're in the last days, man. You know, as the brothers say, we're in them times. We're in them times right now. All right, the last times. Okay. Yahweh you know, Shah's getting ready to come back, man. And you Israelites, you know, y'all are out here, y'all are out here bullshitting, man. Two thirds of you anyway. Okay. You're clueless. I mean, you're in the dark. You're stumbling in the noonday. You're children of the night. Okay, you have no spiritual discernment whatsoever. Okay, you just you, you're those you're those dry bones, man. Okay, over here in Babylon the Great, aka America. All right, now you better wake up, man, because when the Lord comes back, he's going, you know, he's got something for you. Okay, it says um, in the HB show, The Last of Us, characters identify zombies among them by the fungi. That burst from their bodies and fungal parasites manipulate the humans to infect the communities around them. Well, we're in the midst of the zombie apocalypse, man. All right, again, you two thirds, you're zombies, man. You're out here taking you know, Esau's poison, you know, <laughs> taking that curl activator. 
<laughs> what the hell are y'all sure what calls it? The curl activator, the serpent sauce. That's turned you into zombies, man. Esau's uh, uh, propaganda you know, via his mainstream media outlets turned you into zombies. TikTok and these various social media platforms has turned you into zombies. Okay. Yeah, again, man, you, you, you're clothed with darkness, man. Okay. You're out here, you know, just like Esau, the so-called white man, in gross spiritual darkness, okay? But we've been in the zombie apocalypse. That started in 2020, and it's only getting worse, man. It's only getting worse. Look at look at some of these people in, 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 in the eyes. You know, when you go to the grocery store, when you go shopping, when you go to fill up your, your, your gas tank, you know, these people are zombified, man. Right? There's no hope for them. They, they, <laughs> Jeez. Anyway, it says in real life, the fungal species that inspired the story, Ophiocordyceps, infects insects and does not cause problems for people. HBO, like CNN, is a unit of Warner Brothers Discovery. However, the threat from fungal pathogens is increasing, experts say, and may grow much worse in a warmer, wetter, and sicker world. What experts, man? Esau, Esau's, Esau's physicians, man. Esau's physicians aren't worth a fuck, okay? Esau, the so-called white man, starting with Amalek, okay, the, the so-called J-O-O-Z, right, they ain't worth a shit, man, okay? His so-called expert, hold on. Let's see what the scriptures has to say about his so-called experts. All right. What does the scriptures say about his, about his experts, this is um, the book of Job, chapter 13 and verse 4. And it reads, But ye are forgers of lies. Ye are all physicians of no value. That's what the Bible says about Esau, okay, and his physicians and his scientists and his experts. They All they do is forge lies, okay? And you Israelites believe them hook, line, and sinker, well, you know, to your shame. Okay. Uh, what, matter of fact, what else does it say? Um, what in First Timothy is the sixth chapter? Let's see. There we go. What else does it say about these these people, man? All right, these so-called scientists, these experts. First Timothy is chapter six and verse twenty. O Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust. Avoiding profane and vain babblings. And that's what a lot of camps are out here doing, man. All right. They're being profane. Okay. And they, 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 they're increasing in vain babblings. All right. Uh, watchmen for Israel Wi-Fi. You know, they're dumb dogs. They're blind watchmen. They don't know what the uh, MOTB is, for example. Okay. That's the biggest thing. You know, they, they, you know, they speak in heresy when it comes to you know, what the scriptures talks about the MOTB, you know, being, you know, they're profane. In other words, they're outside of the temple. That's what profane means from the Latin word profanum. Okay. They're outside the temple. It says in oppositions of science falsely so-called. And you can, you can apply this to Esau. Okay. And his scientists, they, they deal with pseudoscience, false science. Okay. That's what they deal in. All right. That's what they're dealing. All right, where's my um, where's my article? Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. It says, however, the threat from fungal pathogens is increasing. Experts say it may grow much worse in a warmer, wetter, and sicker world. We see we're always surrounded by fungal spores. We've lived with them ever since we made beds in the savannah 500,000 years ago. See, oh, it's all bullshit, man. 500,000 years ago. These, these, this is the devil, man. This is the devil speaking. It says before we even evolved into modern humans. Okay, so he, he these people preach that evolution bullshit. Okay, which is a theory, you know. They can't prove it. It's just one of their many theories. It says, and we've had to adapt this exquisite immune system that we have to defend against spores because many of them are potentially 
pathogenic, said Dr. Matthew Fisher, a professor of medicine in the School of Public Health at Imperial College London, whose research focuses on emerging pathogenic fungi. <laughs> so like, let me get, let me let me get let me get into some pre-search, man. Well, there are pestilences on the rise, man, and we understand Esau, the madman that he is, the mad scientist that he is. Okay, he's creating a lot of these things, but the Lord is actually at the end of the day rescinding them. Okay, it's his will to send pestilence to this earth prior to, to his only begotten son's return. All right. Now that ultimate, ultimate pestilence is going to be the nukes. All right. Which his elect are going to be delivered from. Let's read this in Psalm 91. Okay. Cause it's called a noisome pestilence. That's going to, that's going into the nuclear destruction. The ICBMs, the intercontinental ballistic missiles. That's the final pestilence and plague that the Lord is going to send. All right. Psalms chapter 91 and verse 3. It says, Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. That's right. So he's going to deliver the elect of Jacob. All right. From the noisome pestilence. Okay. But pestilence, and again, that's going into the nukes. But pestilence is, is, is on the rise, man. Okay. Pestilence is on the rise. Whether man made by these devils. Or directly from Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Okay? And you, and again, you two-thirds are going to be taken out when these pestilences begin to increase. All right? Jeremiah chapter 14 and verse 12. When they fast, I will not hear their cry. Talking about two-thirds of you Israelites. It says, and when they offer burnt offering in an oblation, I will not accept them. But I will consume them by what? It says, by the sword and by the famine, and by the pestilence, all right, so that's what's coming to the house of Saul, the unbelievers, all right, death via the sword, via the famine, and via the pestilence, all right, <clears throat> and this is what the true prophets are speaking about, this is what the men of the Lord, beginning at the top, again, with the top men, all right, the true teachers, the, 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 the true elders, all right, the apostles, the great most of them, on down, this is what the true men of the Lord are speaking on. Alright? This is what this is what we're speaking on. Okay? Jeremiah chapter 28 and verse 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old have prophesied both against many countries. We're prophesying against Babylon. Alright? America, which is Babylon the Great, the virgin daughter of Babylon. We're prophesying against Russia, which is Gog and Magog. We're prophesying against China which is Moab, okay? It says, both against many countries and against great kingdoms, all right? It says, of war and of evil and of pestilence, all right? <laughs> and again, and there are, and another form of pestilence was this was this serpent sauce, man, okay? That's a pestilence on you people, man, okay? Um... <clears throat> Jeremiah chapter 44 and verse 13, for I will punish them that dwell in the land of Egypt. We're in the, uh, we're in the, uh, uh the, the spiritual Egypt, man, America, okay? <clears throat> uh, Revelation, uh, pursuant to Revelation 11 and verse 8, okay? So this place is spiritual Sodom and Egypt. It says, for I will punish them that dwell in the land of Egypt, as I have punished Jerusalem by what? By the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence, Okay? Yeah, man. All right. Prophets, the prophets, they all talked about pestilence, man. And again, our Lord Yahweh Shai, he gave us the playbook, okay? He told us what was going to be up, man. Earthquakes, mega earthquakes, famines, pestilences, all right? Oh, and them fearful sights from heaven, which is the chariots, man, okay? Um... <clears throat> Second Ezra chapter 15 and verse 49, I will send plagues upon thee, widowhood, poverty, famine, sword, and pestilence, to waste thy houses with destruction and death. So yeah, man, you know, 
pestilence is coming on you. All right. Yeah, pestilence is coming on you people, man. And 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 that's not just to Babylon. And you heathen are being judged, man. Okay. And and our people are spread throughout the four corners of the earth. So, you know, these these are gonna uh, uh you know, be a, a it's gonna it's gonna be worldwide in terms of scope. All right. Pestilences. You know. Let's see. It says, um, fungi are just seeking sources of food, and in the eyes of many saprotropic fungi, we are just food, he added. It says, many millions of fungi are good for the environment, but a few hundred can cause disease in humans. Scientists are finding new fungi all the time. They found four just last year, but not all of them are a threat to humans. It says... <clears throat> Of the 4 million or so diverse fungal species, scientists have identified only 300 as human path pathogens that can cause disease. In any given year, more than a billion people have what the Microbiology Society considers superficial fungal infections. Okay, so let's we'll, we'll, we'll skip now. It says... Globally, about 1.5 million people die from them each year, with few working treatments available, if any, according to the Microbiology Society. So, anyway, the Lord is, he's doing, he's putting hurt. He's putting a world-class beatdown on Babylon the Great. And, again, not just on Babylon, but it's going to be felt the worst over here. Also, throughout the four corners, man. You heathen are going to feel it. And two-thirds, again, of the Lord's people who are dispersed in these various countries, you know, you're going you're gonna to be taken out by what? By the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence. So, hey, you know, it's, if ever there was a time, now is it. Now is the day of salvation. That's what the scripture says. Now is the day. Now is the day of salvation. It's time to repent and believe the gospel of the kingdom of heaven. All right? Hey. And believe, man, and believe in Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. You know, especially again as we head into Jacob's trouble. Lord willing, I don't want to desire. He was edified, and with that, I want to say, Shalom.